Hi everyone, uh, here I am again. This time I'm going to introduce to you my new toy, which is a Synology disk station. And the model that I chose is 212. There is quite a few reviews out there telling you a lot about unpacking and a lot of other things. But uh, what I'm going to cover today is pretty much my experience. Because this is a very nicely designed toy and I really like it. And there's a few nice touches that I want to talk about. First of all, if you look through here, I'm going to take this tray out. You can see all the way to the back. So this should allow for a very good... Uh, ventilation of the system. It's pretty much a wide open box. You can see through on the sides as well. It's just a perforated side and uh, you have that on both sides here and there and also if you look at the bottom this is uh, uh, pretty much ventilation for the main logic board I believe and this would be again for the hard drive. I really love the way the trays come out there are nice touches and the trays are made for this is a uh, three inch hard drives and if you have two two and a half inch hard drives what you can do is use this four holes so you go right here right there here you go you just install the four screws and you put your two and a half inch hard drive into the tray the other nice thing about it, to prevent vibration, if you look here, you this is all rubber and the accompanying screws that come with it provides you a nice connection to the 3 inch hard drive just preventing vibration as much as possible to keep the, the box quiet. Yes, you can see the first hard drive here you have a dot, here you have two dots, so left is the first drive, second drive is on the right. The front cover gets attached very easily, you just pretty much push it in. You have this rubber points here that will just get squeezed in and hold against the casing. A few other things that I've noticed. First of all, if you just plug this in, it won't work. The DSM operating system is not installed, so once you plug it in, uh, you're, you have to use the uh, provided uh, software on the disk. So I'm going to plug that, uh, put that in my computer and show you how it goes. So I have the power uh, connected in the back and a gigabit port and here we go. Just a light touch of the power button and this, the booting sequence is going to start. Once, once you fire up the disk, you get this. Start, it will install the Synology Assistant in your, on your system and then you have the quick installation guides here which are pretty much PDF files. So if, if I go to the PDF assistant here what you're gonna see is that you do you can do a search once you do the search it's gonna find the system here we go the IP address is assigned by DCP and the status is not installed okay so all you have to do is just of course click on it and then click install very next step is gonna ask you for the DSM file, okay? Where is this? Well, guess what? It's on the disk. So, uh, you can see it here, it's on my computer, on the Synology disk, and of course I'm gonna choose this one, and open. Just a note here, make sure that, the hard, that first you have a hard drive installed, because otherwise it's not gonna work. Believe me, I tried. Second of all, if you put a hard drive, make sure that it's one of the recommended ones or at least some, a hard drive that somebody else used before because otherwise, again, it's not going to work. How do I know that? Well, guess what? I tried that as well. So here you go. Click Next. It's going to give you a password or a new password for a system. And I install it here. I'm going to use this as a manual because I like the idea. Finish. Perfect. And now you're going to have to wait. Once everything is installed, you're going to get this. So you're going to be able to uh, see the system again in Synology Assistant. And as you can see here, it has a manually assigned IP address. Status says ready. And if you click on connect, what's going to do is just going to open the web page for it. You log in. Until you do at least this, set up a volume and create a share folder. folder the status LED on your disk station is going to blink orange. So make sure you do this, which is pretty simple. Create a volume, click here, and you can see mine is doing right now 
a basic volume for um, the 100 that I have installed. And the user manual is pretty useful and it's pretty well documented and also the help that's here on the interface. I'm pretty excited about this. I hope you guys find uh, will find some use in uh, following this video. Thanks.